Okay, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline, and I'd like to blur out some of the text on this screen. To do this, first, let's go over to Effects. Then select Utility from the sidebar. Drag the Mosaic effect above your clip on the timeline. And I'll just drag the Mosaic clip's end so that the blur's duration matches the length of my video. Okay, now simply drag this blurred square in the preview over the part of the video you'd like to blur. Then just use its handles to resize it. Okay, this is looking good, but let's double click the mosaic clip on the timeline to bring up its settings. In here, you can change the type of blur you want in case, for example, you want a more pixelated blur, or you might just want a vertical blur instead of the original horizontal blur. Below this, you can adjust the blur amount in case it's either too blurry or not blurry enough to cover up what you need. I don't usually mess with the opacity slider, but that's there if you want to see more of the original subject through the blur. Now this looks good, but you might have a video like mine where your subject or text is moving and eventually loses the blur. Unfortunately, there's no keyframing animation for the blur, but one workaround is to make another mosaic clip for when it moves. First, we'll move the playhead to right before your text starts leaving the blurred rectangle. Then cut the mosaic layer at that position, and make sure that second cutout clip is selected. Now move the playhead to where your text is completely unblurred, and simply move the blur rectangle back over your text. Okay, now when I play this back, my blur will snap back over my text when it hits that second mosaic clip. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.